The financial abuse of elderly people is an issue that has been swept under the carpet for years. A combination of shame, fear, and a reliance on the perpetrator has meant this abuse remains chronically underreported. As healthcare professionals, you are often the best place to identify victims of elder abuse. Recognising the telltale signs associated with the abuse is crucial to understanding how you can help stamp it out. The lengths taken by abusers to exploit the vulnerability of older people is extraordinary. What follows is a typical example of financial elder abuse. While the names have been altered, what is described is a true representation of actual events. Jerry met 76-year-old Patty at their local church. Patty's husband Bob had recently passed away and she was living with dementia. Her impairment, age and lack of immediate family made Patty an easy target. It wasn't long before Jerry won Patty's confidence and persuaded her to appoint him as her general power of attorney. Over the coming years, Jerry whittled away Patty's life savings. Withdrawing her pension on a fortnightly basis, he also tried to sell her home in return for life tenancy and care in a granny flat. In the end, Patty was forced to live in a caravan where her health deteriorated. Following a visit to her local GP, Patty was hospitalised. She then moved into residential aged care. Jerry disappeared but continued to withdraw Patty's fortnightly pension until her bank account was almost completely depleted. Patty remains in care to this day but has accrued a debt of almost $35,000 in unpaid residential aged care fees because of Jerry. State trustees became aware of Patty's case after a social worker made an application to VCAT to have us appointed as her financial and legal administrator. Immediately, we took steps to secure Patty's income and bank accounts. Taking control of her last remaining assets, State Trustees continues to pursue Jerry in an effort to recover the misappropriated funds for Patty. As a critical first line of defence, health professionals play a crucial role in protecting the rights of the elderly. In a growing number of cases, you are the only people the elderly trust and have regular contact with. It is vital that as professionals we work together to protect them from abuse. To help identify victims and take action to protect them, State Trustees provides free information sessions for health professionals and community workers. For information on how to sign up for these free elder abuse information sessions, visit statetrustees.com.au or call 1300 138 672.